Hello everyone, welcome to the AWS PyCharm tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to work on unit tests. According to Wikipedia, unit tests are automated tests written and run by software developers to ensure that a section of an application, known as the unit, meets its design and behaves as intended. I will be covering only one scenario that will help you understand how we can begin with unit testing. First, install the PyTest package. It's the most popular Python testing framework, widely used by developers and QA engineers. I'm going to start from scratch. First, let me delete the default test under handler.py file. I will create a db.py file under the testing under db package, which will contain the same database connection logic, which I used earlier for all of the APIs. Next, I create the test under handler.py file under the unit package where I will write the unit tests. I then import the necessary modules like JSON and PyTest. Also, I set PyTest as my default test runner. Click on File, then click on Settings. You can see the Python integrated tools, which falls under the tools category. Okay, as you can see in the testing section, PyTest is already set as the default test runner. If you have a different test runner, make sure to change it to PyTest. Let's return back and import the necessary modules. I will create a sample fixture. According to Wikipedia, a software test fixture sets up a system for the software testing process by initializing it, thereby satisfying any preconditions the system may have. As you can see, I will be passing a sample user information to run my test case. I will begin creating the test registration API class where I will be loading my fixture and passing it into the Lambda handler.
Okay, we're done with the implementation. Before running the test case, make sure to add escape characters in the sample fixture as shown in line 11 and 12. As you can see on the screen, every time I run the test case, I will receive a different email address. This is just for creating randomness, nothing special. In the teardown method, I will be flushing only the last inserted object from the database. Okay, now I'm ready to test. I will right click on the file test under handler, and then I will click on run PyTest in test handler. The test has begun. It will take a few minutes or less than that based on the acceptance criteria. Awesome, the test has been successfully passed. This was a basic glimpse of unit testing. If you are interested in going deeper into testing or test-driven development with Python, then there is an interesting article written by Paul Everett. I will share the link in the description. In the upcoming video, I'm going to deploy functions in AWS Lambda, and we're going to play with our APIs through Postman.